Okay, if you're like me, then you probably have a lot of scanner frequencies that you're trying to um, keep track of. If you're trying to do that by uh, hand with paper and pen, uh, it can be pretty overwhelming. So I use a spreadsheet, a very simple one. And I know a lot of people say, oh, spreadsheets are a pain in the neck. But they really aren't if you just make a simple one. And I'll show you the simple one I've got, and I've had it for years. And let me get rid of this scanner. And if you do a search on the Internet with Google or any other search engine, just type in free spreadsheets and a whole pile of them come up. They're all pretty well the same. Anyway, I've got a couple programs here that have spreadsheets in them. One is LibreOffice and another one is OpenOffice. And they're pretty well the same. So I'm going to open up LibreOffice. Okay, get rid of this. And just go up here, New spreadsheet and as I said we'll just make a, a very simple one and all you want to do in mine is I have a transmit frequency in column A receive frequency column B or whatever and then I have who's on it um, fire ambulance police private business and you can put in what city, town, where, where it is. And then I put in the tones. If there's P25, it'll have NAC tones or whatever. I put them in there. Then I put AM, FM. And you can add as much stuff as you want to the spreadsheet. And a lot of this stuff up here don't worry about it because you probably won't use it because we're just making a simple one so let me get out of here and I'll show you my spreadsheet that way you can see what I'm talking about Steve Master double click on that and here it is very simple six columns A to F you'll see stuff in red that's all Canadian all my frequencies in Canada are in red so I can spot them right away now I've got this sorted by frequency from low to high but you can sort it by any column very very simply whatever way you want to set it up and how you do that is you just go over here and highlight the whole spreadsheet now as I said I have it by frequency right now you go up here to data sort what column do you want to sort it by any of these columns let's sort it by um, cities D go to D and there it goes now it's sorted by um, cities and you can do the same thing with uh, your tones or AM FM or what's on there you can sort it by fire or you can sort it by whatever you want and it's very simple just to go back the way it was you can go back up to sort and just sort it by column A and you can have it ascending or descending okay and you can sort it a whole bunch of a whole bunch of ways. There it is. It's right back to where it was before. And that's really it for me. I mean, if you want to make any changes, um, you just highlight. Just change this from red to black. Done. Very simple. That's what I like about it. Um, bring it back to red. 
Um, if you want to highlight the whole thing and change the font, you can change it to whatever you want. Very quick, very simple. You can switch it back. You can make the font bigger. I'll go to 8. Now it's, you can't see the frequencies because they're too big, so you just spread this out a little bit. There they are. And this one has to be spread out. The bigger you get it, you have to spread them out more. Um, but it's up to you how you want to do it. And um, it's very easy. You go back to six. There you go. Close these in again. And you see, it's really simple to do stuff like this. Um, you don't have to make it tough on yourself. You can do searches in this box for whatever frequency you're looking for, or just scroll through them. And while I have this, I'll show you why. <laughs> because I do a lot of searches, and every frequency in here is a frequency that I can hear, that I can listen to. I know if I go to this frequency, that's going to be on there. Okay, and we'll go down. I'll show you how many lines I've got here. And there it is, 2,385 lines. So that's why you really need a spreadsheet to take care of this stuff. It makes it really simple. It really does. Um, give it a try. And you can make it as simple or as difficult as you want. You can add a lot more columns if you want to. Um, spread them out. And uh, when you're finished making your changes, you can save it. I'm not going to save anything because I'm just doing an experiment here for you. So, don't save. And there you have it. Um, if you're having problems taking care of your scanner frequencies, give a, a spreadsheet a, a shot. Make it as simple as possible, and uh, I think it'll help you a lot. Okay, you take care and enjoy your scanner. See you later.